Are you looking for some great new spells for your wizards to cast in Warhammer Age of Sigmar? Well, you don't want to miss this next video. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Wargamers, and welcome back to another great Monster Hobbies What's in the Box episode, where today we will be looking at the amazing Malign Sorcery spell box. So sit back, relax, like, subscribe, and pound that notification bell, and let's begin this amazing adventure into the world of sorcery. So here we have the Malign Sorcery set, the Battle Magic expansion set. And this one has been around from Games Workshop since I do believe 2018. This is actually the first time I'm reviewing it on this channel. This is a very big box. My camera is all the way to the, the top of my, um, my stand here. And yeah, my finger is on the edge of the box right here. You can see the shadow move across. So you can see how big this is. I mean, full frame. Anyway, the box is cool because... Let's see if I can get this up here. So you've got all these different spells. The Malevolent Maelstorm, Chromatic Cogs, the Quicksilver Swords, the Aether Void Pendulum, whoops, sorry, Aether Void Pendulum, the Burning Head, and then the Emerald Life Swarm. Those are cool spells. And then turning it this way, you can see that we have the Revenor Rock's Gnashing Jaws, the Suffocating Grave Tide, the Prismatic Palisade, the Soul, Soul Snare Shackles, pardon me, and then it tells you everything that's going on up there, as well as on this side we have the infamous Purple Sun of Saish, uh, the Umbral Spell Portals, <laughs> and the Geminids of of Ul Gish. So a lot of amazing things in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up this box and then I'll put the contents out here. So inside the box is this nice plastic bag and it's full of all our model kit parts and our spells. And then if we move this out of the way we have the Malign Sorcery book which shows you inside here how to actually put the models together. There's the Purple Sun and Saish going together and all that stuff. Okay, and then we have the Malign Sorcery uh, book. And this is a store copy one. I've had the book out for a long time, but I've never actually done the spells or anything until now. But inside the book, you've got some battle plans. Pitch Battle Profiles, the Realm Artifacts, and then the Spells of the Realm. There's a bunch of different game scenarios you can play out for skirmish and that sort of thing. Battle plans for narrative play. A lot of cool stuff, of course. Here's a painting guide on how to paint all the different spells in here. A lot of cool stuff. Cool artwork and whatnot. And then here's sort of the... Uh, History of the spells, where they're from, that sort of thing. Their general write-up. All that cool stuff. There's Aether Void Pendulum. Now, I'll probably paint mine red like this. Because I like it in the art. All the different things. There's a purple sun again. A new era of magic. All that great stuff you need to know. And then, now I've sealed these in, I guess I should go this way. <laughs> I sealed these in a plastic Ziploc so I wouldn't lose them. These are the actual spell cards. So if you turn them over, you'll see like snow, snow, snow share shackles. <laughs> see that three times fast. There's a Bellwind Vortex which doesn't come in the kit, but is one of those extra models. The Ravnorex Gnashing Jaws, Aether Void Pendulum, the Umbral Spell Portal, Geminids of Ul, Uhul Gish, I guess it is, Prismatic Palisade, 
chromatic cogs, the burning head, quicksilver swords, purple sun of Saish, and emerald life swarm, Malev malevolent maelstrom, and the suffocating grave tides. So all those spells, there's the cards for them. So make sure that you don't lose yours. So now let's actually put all this away and take a look at our models. So now, as you can see, we do have a lot, and I mean a lot, of parts trees for this. And they're pretty cool. So this one, of course, is the inner guts of the Purple Sun of Saish. And in the instructions, you kind of build this little circle frame thing first, and then you glue all the outer bits of that purple sun to it. Anyway, here's all the bases. They're all molded in brown. As you can see, this is a multicolored kit. So if you just want to build these quick and get them going without painting, you can actually pop them all together. Okay, there's our sprue for the purple sun. I'll show these in a little more detail in a minute. So there's a steel kind of parts tree with uh, the different ones on there. <laughs> there you get a blue one here with the prismatic palisade and the life swarm, the skull, um, the miasma thing, and those little geminids. And then we've got our red one here with all the other cool bits. So let's take a look at these one by one and I'll show you what the spells are and all the rest. Okay, so we'll I'll just continue with this parts tree. So right here we have the Grave Tide, and then over here, these pieces are Ravnarak's Gnashing Jaws. So let's just take a quick look at this up close. I know red on red is sort of hard to tell, but you can still see a lot of great detail in here. There's a bunch of broken tombstones, and of course the dirt and everything flying up. And then on this side here, there, you can see those skull heads popping out of there, which is really cool. And then on the jaws, we've got just the teeth and then all these flames and bits. Those are the two sides, and of course there's our bottom teeth and the top portion. And you can see a lot of great detail in there on those jaws and teeth. This of course the inside of the grave tide, which you don't really see too much. This one has its own big base. There's a, a bunch of these little locks in here, you can see them, that will lock into these grooves here to help you glue it all together. So that's our first one. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now we have our blue parts tree here, and what we have is this big long wall here, as well as this, will go together. And that gives you your prismatic palisade. The malevolent maelstrom is this big ball here with the flames shooting out of it. Then we have the burning head, which is these two pieces here, or three, two, I don't know, these pieces here <laughs> make up the burning head. And then we have the geminids of Ulgish. These are the outer parts and these are the inner. And then finally we have the emerald life swarm. So let's just bring this up here. You can see the nice detailing on those, the crystals. They're on both sides, of course. You can see the underneath of the life swarm. Now these are supposed to be like dragonflies that are coming out of a rock. And according to the thing, you can actually heal wounds on wounded units with these. There's the geminids that are like, one is supposed, they're, they're kind of like yin and yang. One is supposed to be white, the other is supposed to be black or whatever. And um, they're used in different ways, one to heal, one to destroy. There's the Maelstrom. You can see the nice detail in there. And then the skull, the fiery skull. And there's little tabs in here on the skull that lock into the little slots in there. So again, you can see all the nice detail on this. Another great set of spells. It's actually one, two, three, five on there. So here on this silver parts tree, we actually have another five spells. And I guess this would be the closest color this would be in uh, Citadel paint would be your 
iron brick or your uh, lead belcher pardon me your lead belcher paint anyway what we have here are the quicksilver swords right here or swords the chromatic cogs there's two pieces of them the umbral spell portal this one's kind of cool because your wizard can cast a spell through one of these and then this one's set up 18 inches further in so it increases your spell range because he'll fire a spell through here and it'll go across the board 18 inches and fire out here to the range of the spell. So you could actually shoot like 36 inch spell range. It's pretty cool stuff. Soul Snare Shackles are here. And then we have the Ether Void Pendulum. It's a one piece model right there. So let's take a quick look again at the detail level on these. These are terrific. There's our spell portal. You can see all the nice ornate intricate carvings on there as well as a spiral in the middle. The shackles look really cool, like real chains with little hooks. These you use to entrap enemies, slow them down and things like that. There's that pendulum, which is really cool. <laughs> then, uh, oh, right out of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> anyway, so there's our chromatic cogs, sort of uh, temporal distortion things. Lots of uh, shackles there. The other part of our cogs with little wheels and gears. As you can see, these are pretty simple, straightforward models. You could uh, easily build them up within a weekend or so. So, very nicely done. I'll probably uh, do a couple of these at a time in separate videos. So, oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. And the fire on the back is sort of flat. So, this looks like you can... No, you can't glue them together. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, you can glue them together. But they're the portal things, so... Anyway, look at all that nice detail in there. Real cool stuff. Okay, so that is that tree. And there is two left, but they're one spell. So let's check that out. And our final spell sprue is, of course, the Purple Sun of Saish. So there's two sprues to this, because this one here, the rings, are to get the... This is a big ball. So the rings are to help support inside the ball and keep all this together. So, I mean, they're rings with pins on them, and there you go. But what I want to do is just move this over a bit. And we'll zoom in on the outer structure that we can see, the highly detailed stuff. So, as you can see here, we have a nice skull head with the barbs sticking out of it. And then, of course, the other bits. Now, it's interesting, these spells... Okay, so there'd be a cover there, of course, and cover here. Oh, this one there. I guess the skull head would be in there. I'll have to take a look at how you glue it together, but, you know, check out the details. Skull head. <laughs> These are fun to paint. I've seen some very cool things in White Dwarf magazines and all the rest. Oh, here's the little uh, holes where these are going to peg together into these frame circles. So, you know, one of them will go in there, however it goes. That's all in the instruction manual. And then, of course, there's some more spikes to pop in the thing. But as I was going to say, what's interesting about the, some of these spells is they're hinted in the old Warhammer fantasy stuff. Like this one was the Purple Sun of Zeres or something like that originally. And then they changed it to Purple Sun of Saish because Saish is, of course, the Realm of the Dead. But at any rate... If you play Warhammer Fantasy, you could also get this set to represent those old spells in, like, 8th edition or whatever. So, again, very cool stuff. And finally, we have these bases, which are, of course, molded in a brown earth tone type of plastic. They do have little holes in them so that you can uh, align your spells up with the holes. So, for example, this one would be for the emerald life swarm because it's a long model and then it tapers back onto a little rock of course all those dragonflies these ones would be for like the gnashing jaws and the purple sun because they're bigger they'll need more space um not sure what the rest are for but you know as you build this you can of course figure it all out oh i do believe this one's probably for the pendulum but at any rate i'm not going to guess so these are the bases not much to be said about them Although you can use some of your other basing materials and whatnot just to sprite, uh, sprue it up a bit. And 
these will all come out in 2018 as you can see on the date stamp underneath here so again pretty cool so i'm going to talk about one more spell that they have the card for but it's not included in this set the final spell that is in here that's not included in the set as a model is of course the Bailwind vortex and what this is is a little platform that has like a spiral going up from the ground and what happens here is a wizard can cast this thing and then it acts as uh what would you call it an amplification of the spell's range so the wizard would uh cast this, this thing and then he's able to add one to save rolls when he's on it and then he's also able to extend the range of his spells to six inches and that would be any spell he's going to cast as well as these endless spells that are included in the kit so i have a model of this which we'll take a look at right now and as you can see i've already built mine and painted it up and uh, i can use that now to cast and change the range of all the other spells in this box a thought occurred to me before we actually wrap up this review of the malign sorcery set and this remember i said a little earlier if you're playing eighth edition or in even ninth age or whatever that you could use some of these spells well here's the burning head uh, that spell from the realm of or the lore of fire in the realm of metal we have the enchanted blades of abian which i do believe you could use as those swords in the lore of life you have the regrowth spell which you could use that uh, life swarm model for for uh, representation from the lore of shadows you have the penumbral pendulum and then from the lore of death, there's the purple sun of Zerus. So as you can see, a lot of those spells from the Malign Sorcery set have been represented in models, of course, for you to play good old 8th and 9th age. And that completes our look at the Malign Sorcery set from Games Workshop. So like I said, this has been out over a, a, since 2018. So that's already two years that this has been out. How have you built your spells? And how have they helped you in your games? Please write it in the comments section down below because I'm always interested in battle reports and how things work. And there is one sort of sad note to all of this, is that all those spells now and artifacts that were sitting in the Malign Sorcery book that's included in this have been nerfed in 2020 in the General's Handbook. So you'll have to refer to those realms and see what the artifacts and spells are of those realms, unfortunately. But if you still want to play by the 2018-2019 General's Handbooks, you could use all those things still in that, that style of gameplay. So anyway, like I said before, let us know how your games go with these spells. And I do believe in the future I'm also going to try to build some of these. So thanks for, very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this amazing video with all those great spells. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. Or which ones do you use in your current Warhammer Age of Sigmar battles to really wipe the field? I'd sure like to know because I'm going to be building these and of course I need to test them for myself. So if you want to get this great set, I can special order it for you from Games Workshop while supplies last over there. And if you want to check out all our amazing Age of Sigmar and 40k figures, even Lord of the Rings, don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to this YouTube channel. Share it with all your friends and family and everything. And we'll see you in the next video.